What is going on guys? DBG here and today we are going to be doing a tier list of the best shooting guides in my team. Today we're actually going to be a tier list day. We're doing shooting guides, small forward, power forwards, and centers all today, lads. And tomorrow is going to be budget players and best players. The reason why I'm doing this right now is obviously a lot of people are going to be getting this game in and around Christmas. And I feel like it is the best time to go and do it. So anyway, obviously... If you're watching this after Christmas, none of the Christmas cards that come out around Christmas are included. Neither are any of the cards after December the 21st as far as free cards. But you guys will be able to see plenty of videos on them. So, anyway, Danny Green Evo. Good. Very much a mid-tier player. Really good shooter. Really good defender. Doesn't get much better with the Evo, but still good. Uh, Money Mitch is fine. He's probably on the lower end of good, honestly. That's where I'd put him. He's definitely, he's solid. Livingston, obviously, you want to play him a point guard. Good as well. I think they're all these, like, mid-tier cards. Um, Completely fine as a card. Like, decent, good shooter, tall point guard, good defender, good, nice length. Um, Adrian Dantley is one of the worst players I've used this year. This guy is a trash can. Uh, I'm going to put Alan Houston in... Is, uh, Houston might be higher than that, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to put him in good. Another player that's in good is Andre Guadala. A player that's going to have to go into usual, but meh, is Andrew Nembhard. As much as I do love this card and I love his release, I'm not going to be crazy and say that he's like this god tier card because he just simply is not. I wish he was. I really wish he was because he is a very, very fun card to use. One of my favorite cards in the game in terms of just pure jump shots. But I got to put Andrew Nembhard down here in a usual, but meh. I'm going to go good for him. I think Anthony Simons definitely belongs in that middle tier. He is a really, really nice player. His movement is good. He's a great dunker. Definitely better to be on a point guard, but he can score. Dude can score the ball. McCollum sucks. McCollum's going to go. He's better, than, way better than Adrian Dantley, but he's nowhere near as good as Nembart. So he's going to go there. Clyde. I don't think Clyde's in the best five shooting guys in the game, but he's close. He's really freaking close to being best five. DeRozan is a little bit worse than Clyde, but again, really good. 6'7", really nice release. His stats aren't the greatest, but yeah, that's why he's uh, he's in here. Also, lads, if you guys are looking for some NBA watch parties tonight, I'm going to be live on playback.tv slash dbg. Going to be doing a watch party. If you guys have League Pass, you will be able to watch it with me, and a link will be in the description to that. We'll be live tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Then we've got Desmond Bain usable but meh he's not that bad he's not great either i know this is going to be a surprise because a lot of people don't like him but devin booker offensively so good i'm going to put him in elite defensively he can't go into s tier um he is one of the he's one of my favorite players in this game he genuinely is i love this card here donovan mitchell top end of good maybe into elite players like, he's got nice length. Definitely best to be on the point guard. Great shooter. He doesn't have any flaws. Brilliant, brilliant card. Drazen, top of usable meh. Release is just iffy. Dwayne Wade, bottom of elite. And even though the, the two Dwayne Wades are the exact same, the pink diamond and diamond, the reason he's in there is because this this diamond Dwayne Wade's going into, like, usable but meh. The gap between the two diamond Dwayne Wades is huge. It is huge. Although the pink diamond Dwayne Wade and diamond Dwayne Wade are just the same card. Um, Eddie Jones, lowest end of elite. We haven't gotten to any of our S tier players. And just as I say that, we got to our first S tier player in George Gervin. Oh, is George Gervin better than Clyde? Now that's the question. Uh, Clyde, you got up there. Gervin, you come down. But I'm looking for my top five, and I'm like, obviously the best is here. I'm actually moving both of them up to S, to be honest. Gervin's so good. Clyde's also really, really good. I don't know why. I was like, oh, there's so many Elite 2 guards. But there's not really in terms of primary shooting guards. Um, Gerald Green. High-ish usable, but meh. He's okay. Nothing spectacular. Don't mind the card. Don't hate. Like, don't think the card's great. Don't hate him. Um, Jalen Green. Like, in the usable, but meh category. His release is iffy. Like, he's an okay card. There's nothing great about him. Uh, Jamal Crawford, low usable, but meh. Again, a card that is like, I don't know, he's okay offensively, non-existent defensively, so 
I can't put him higher than this, but he's not the worst player in the world. Uh, Diamond Harden stinks. Um, get him in the bottom, whereas I'm going to put this Harden in like top of good. Some people really do like this Harden, though. I'm not a fan. Uh, Jefferson. Usable meh. Jalen Brown in good. In like middle of good. Yeah, that's a fine tier for him. Jalen Brown's okay. JR just kind of at the lower end of good tier. Again, a perfectly decent card. With JJ Reddick going into usable meh. Joe Johnson getting into good tier. Again, one of the cheap pink diamonds in this game. A lot of these cards are solid. They are solid. I might have to move some of these tiers if we want symmetry to be, to be a bit better. Jordan Poole, good. I'm going to move um, Simons down to usable meh. Like we really do have our top two tiers, kind of. There's not a lot in either of them. Uh, oh, Giddy sucks. Giddy absolutely sucks getting the worthless. I'm going to actually fill out worthless here right now. Uh, Giddy, as much as I don't hate his release, much as I thought I would, yeah. Horford, or sorry, Quentin Richardson, it's still not a good release. It's not an unusably bad release, but it's not a good release either. He's down here in worthless. And is there anyone else that belongs in worthless? Any of these guys from this tier? I mean, the worst player here is Jamal. So I'm going to have to put Jamal like top of worthless. Uh, Kelly Oubre, usable with meh, especially because he has that duo with Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal is not great, but he does have the duo with Oubre, which I'm going to put him in usable with meh. Um, Clay Thompson, the bottom of good. I hate this card. A lot of people are like really, really high on Clay. I despise this card, lads. Like, you don't understand how much I dislike Clay as a player. This guy, he's just... His release for me is in the, like, top four or five worst releases in the game of guys that, like... I just can't green with him. I can't green... He's a shooter I can't green with. And the game is green or miss. I mean, I can't score with him. Kobe's... Uh, S and good. Kobe, easily one of the top five primary shooting guards in the game. The Diamond Kobe's not bad, although I will say it. Amethyst Kobe and Diamond Kobe are the same. Amethyst Kobe would be like either bottom of good or top of usable. Meh. Diamond's a little better. Corver. You know, with, with how much of a slingshot Corver has, like that release is so freaking fast. Like, like just with how quick it is. Corver is so good at what he does that I'm going to actually put him in elite. He's the lowest of elite, but he's so good at what he does. He's better, way better now than Hughes than what he does. Um, Lance, high good. Really good defender. I know some people love Lance Stevenson. I'm not the highest on him. We got Sprewell. Um, he's like literally just Jalen Brown 2.0. So let's put Sprewell down here in good. Manu, low good. You guys are going to hate me for this. You guys are actually going to hate me for this. Elite. Michael Cooper. His defense, everyone's like, oh, tendencies, this, tendencies, that. Do play with Michael Cooper. <laughs> this guy gets some stupid steals. His release is ridiculous. There is just something about, oh, the, there are three of the free cards that are good and some of them are awful. Like, Kersey sucks. But Aiton, Cooper, and the new Mark Aguirre get some of the most stupidly good animations in this game. Absolutely fantastic card here in Cooper. Jordan Elite. Jordan definitely an elite tier. A really, really nice shooting guard. Ray Allen, elite as well. Um, elite for Rex Chapman. More like a more of a point guard than anything, but Rex is super nice a card. I'm a big fan of Rex Chapman. And he can score the ball with the best of them. Uh, one of the most disappointing cards in the game is Rip. I actually thought he was going to be a beast. He, he should fit the meta, the way the game's played. I don't mind him shooting. He's just fine. It's the only way to describe him. Ron Artest is coming in as the fifth best shooting guard in the game. He's going to be the guy to round off S tier is our Ron Artest. A brilliant, brilliant player. But again, is he S tier? Is he A tier? I don't know. But for me, like I'm, I'm very happy with these all around as far as guards. Two guards go. These are my top five. They all offer something a little bit different. Clyde's the best dunker. Kobe is the best in terms of... Um, actually... Kobe's like a, a worse Ricky Davis. Ricky Davis is by far the best shot creator. You've got Gervin, who's just an all-around beast with nice post game. And you got Ron, who's the best perimeter defender. And Moncrief. Look, Moncrief's going to use a meh. 
but he's not actually terrible. He's just ridiculously overpriced. Steve Smith is going to go into high good. Don't mind them. Tyler Hero into low good. And day one god, uh, Zach Levine, is going to go into good tier as well. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. A quicker, a shorter tier list this time instead of 20, 25 minutes we normally do. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.